it's Alicia here with My Work Basket. Today I am going to show you a quick walkthrough through this mini album that I just designed. So let's turn the camera around and I'll tell you all about it. Okay, so first of all, you can still see my tripod. I'm on the hunt and kind of shopping for a better tabletop tripod. And in the meantime, I'm just using what I have and shopping around. But let's look at the album. So this is a design team project these um i believe they're called summer sneakers i'll put a link in the show notes these are a digi stamp that i printed out and colored myself um and they are from all dressed up stamps which is an etsy store and then what i also did was purchase so this image was given to me free for the design team but then i purchased their autumn design papers to match and it just so happened that I colored these to actually match my own sneakers although mine are high tops um, but their autumn papers happened to match the colors that I had used on my sneakers and so I was like I'm gonna get those also because I was just really struggling with my personal paper collection and deciding kind of what to use with it and I I stamped on a couple things I printed them on a couple things well I didn't stamp them on anything because they're a digital stamp but I printed them on some different papers I tried some different ideas and just nothing was coming together and so I decided to just purchase their papers and use those so it is a digital stamp. You can print it to whatever size you want. And I have managed to make a mess of this cover while getting ready to record. I don't know if I got glue on it or what, but there's like a bald spot here. <laughs> I am a mess. So I'm gonna have to clean this up a little bit better. But I made this mini album with their autumn papers, their digital sneakers. I labeled it Summer Days and just did some different torn covers. And then I have some different stuff going inside. So these, each side has six of these. There's printed paper on the front and just white on the back. And so you can glue in pictures, memorabilia, write notes, journal, kind of whatever you want on these. I put some matching envelopes here in the center so you can slip in memorabilia, receipts, additional pictures tickets just different things in here and then the back also has six of these flaps i really wish i had cut these a little bit longer so that they covered all the way down but it is what it is and i do kind of like that splash of color as well so these the total side here each side is about four inches and the binding is about an inch so it is thick enough for you to really kind of fill it with supplies and fun stuff and enjoy it and it is all with their digital printable papers and the digi stamp this stamped image is the actual only stamp in the whole thing well sorry no summer days i stamped that out Brr. um so i stamped out summer days for the cover and then yeah i'm gonna have to kind of clean this up all of this like happened while i was getting ready to record and kind of wasn't there a minute ago so that kind of sucks but so this was a design team item so I will be posting this besides here on my YouTube channel. This will also be on my website with some detailed images and some links to the design team and some other stuff. It is a design team challenge. So if you'd like to enter, there are prizes to be won. And I have another design team project this time also. I'm doing two because I really wanted these sneakers, but there was another image that I was assigned as well. So there will be two projects from me for this September 1st challenge. You can see my craft table is still just a mess. I literally just finished this up, but I loved it and I wanted to show it off. I'm kind of debating adding like a, like a rubber band or a strap of some kind. There's another, boy, I'm messy. Um, so I'm kind of debating putting like some type of strap to kind of hold it closed. But I do feel like with the envelopes, you know, stuff should kind of stay contained. But there you go. So I just cut these out. I kind of randomly picked a size, to be honest. All of it's kind of randomly. I didn't measure in advance. I kind of sized it and then measured to fit that size. So I just cut these into the shapes, rounded the corners, cut the flaps to fit them with some background space and some flap. And so it's kind of easy to mimic. I trimmed all of my envelopes so that the 
flap section here is on most of them a half an inch on this one I actually trimmed it down farther than that but most of them I trimmed it where the flap is a half an inch and used that to just glue them into the book and so yeah like I can give more details but honestly you could probably look at it and tell how to kind of do it yourself and the cover is a chipboard cover honestly I think it's from the back of a stack of scrapbook paper it was in kind of just my stash and I cut it to size scored it and glued the covers on and I think I actually glued it backwards because I meant for this to be the back um yeah I'm I'm a mess but it came out super cute and I I like it a lot I really like the colors I like the way it came together I didn't really know what I was going to do until I kind of got started but I think it came out really well and you have all these places for journaling and pictures and super cute so that is my design team project this time again they are all from all dressed up digi stamps and i'll put the link in the show notes and there is also another project i am doing for this september 1st design team set and there will be more information on my website and both videos will be on my YouTube channel. So that is that. I thank you for watching. I'd love to hear from you in the comments about your thoughts on this project, this stamp, this company, really just anything at all that you want to say. I'd love to hear it. So that's that. Have a great day and thanks for watching.